it's good to catch up again. Today I thought I would share my first proper taste of my Nelson Salvin uh, fresh hop beer. Just been uh, sort of waiting till it's at a you know reasonable um, point to sort of try it. So it's been two and a half weeks. Uh, but before we do that, I'd just like to uh, do a big shout out and thank you to Carl from Floor Sweepers Union for hooking me up with this very cool t-shirt. Thank you very much Carl. The logo looks awesome. Um, I'm a huge fan of the old uh, white white on black t-shirt um, designs so yeah that's, that looks fantastic. Um, so I'll definitely be wearing this a little bit more. Hopefully uh, driving a, a little bit more traffic towards Carl and giving him some more exposure. So thank you very much for that Carl. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, so we'll get into the fresh hot beer. So I've, most of it I put into my little mini pressure barrel. And this is where this glass is um, being poured from. I've only done a few bottles to sort of um, give to people. And then the rest is in the, like say in the mini pressure barrel. And that's what I'll try and concentrate on drinking. Um, so yeah, it seems to have poured up quite a nice, um, looking beer. It's actually quite clear but it's got condensation. I'll see if I can wipe that off. But yeah, reasonably clear. Um, beautiful, the old cliche burnt or sunset orange. Um, now the, the malt base for this is the same as what I've used and I think a lot of other people use for the supercharger. So it's all Gladfield's malt. It's um, American Ale, um, Crystal or Medium Crystal, toffee malt and a little bit of acidulated malt or sour grapes um, and then the main star of the of the beer obviously is the fresh hop Nelson Salvin so I use 500 grams in a um, half batch um, and that was broken down into I'll put it on the screen as well 100 grams at 15 100 grams at 10 100 grams at 5 and then the remaining 200 grams at flame out um, for a, for a hop, uh, hop stand and yeah I did that at uh, 75 degrees for tw uh, 20 minutes so no bittering hop at 60 minutes and no other hop was used for dry hopping so yeah just purely Nelson purely in the boil um, because I just yeah just wanted to get the full impact of the Nelson and, and um, just know that what I'm picking up is is just from that hop so yeah very happy with the appearance um, holding a nice sort of creamy head on the top pretty tightly packed bubbles uh, it's clocking in at about five and a half percent and 43 IBUs so yeah let's get a nose on it cheers guys I hope you're uh, impending weekend uh, it's not too far away. Hasn't been out of the fridge long, so I should have probably let it warm up a little bit more, but definitely getting that sort of uh, classic sort of grape, um, grape aroma. Possibly that sort of um, gooseberry um, that people say you can pick up from Nelson. A very fresh and um, sort of a vibrant sort of aroma coming off the top. Yeah, that's probably the best way to describe it. Fresh, clean, yeah, grapey, gooseberry, maybe a little touch of malt sweetness coming through as well, but not only a little tiny bit. So yeah, I'm going to dive in guys. Been dying to try the first proper glass, so cheers to you all. Okay, that um, yeah, that sort of grape like Sauvignon Blanc sort of gooseberry aroma is coming through on the flavour as well. Yeah, it's got a real um, best way to describe it is like a wine, wine, white wine type um, hop flavour coming through. 
it's not like a punchy um it's it's fresh and it's vibrant but it's not punchy say like um you know a big citrus type hop it's more more refined um yeah more refined i, I guess would be a good way to describe it refined or restrained uh yeah wine white wine sort of uh, esque in the flavor but very nice i think um this could be actually if you gave this blindfolded to a um uh, a white wine drinker they could could be interested i think um obviously it's got the the malt um base there but that's quite subtle getting um sort of nice little hints of the toffee and caramel from the um from the grains but it's yeah it's quite um quite subdued hmm i think this tastes different to the last time i did the nelson fresh hop um yeah just cleaner i think definitely one thing is um, when i did it the first time i i didn't really know how to go about doing it um and not making it too bitter because the fresh hops is a little bit of a little bit of guesswork and i did use a bittering hop at 60 minutes last time and the beer came out quite bitter but this time the the bittering is is pretty much spot on um so yeah very happy with that the carbonation is is pretty good as well um got a quite a nice dry back end to go with that sort of clean sort of um grapey flavor Definitely um, an easy drinker for um, five and a half percent. Have no problems um, knocking a few of these back. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what else I can really say a bit about it other than yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm definitely um, very happy that I didn't um, stuff up the bitterness again and make it into make it too bitter, which I think detracted from the last time I did the Nelson. Um, Yeah, I didn't want to dry hop with wet hops um, and possibly that is showing a little bit in the aroma. The aroma is maybe not quite as punchy as you get with a beer with a dry hop, but that's fine. I, I, I think I really enjoy the, like I said, the restrained sort of character of, of the hops coming through. Hmm. No, I'm very happy with that. So I've got about... Um, I've got about seven litres for myself um, and then uh, the rest I'll try and divvy up to a few of the local lads so okay guys that's me done <coughs> good to do a review of one of my own beers um, it's been a while so good to get back on the horse so thanks for watching um, and thank you again Carl for the t-shirt beautiful fit as well I'm surprised you had one in a, a, a 3XXXL but um, yeah, fantastic, mate. You must have uh, picked pick my size perfectly. So, cheers, guys. Um, catch, you in, catch you in the next video. Over and out.